I think you were definitely waiting for the date of the announcement of a new fitness tracker from the Chinese company Xiaomi. Well, finally I can please you with official news. I propose once again to discuss the most anticipated new product of this spring, Xiaomi Mi Band 7. Hi, it's OZN and before I start I suggest you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. Let's discuss the news. Yesterday brought news of the Redmi Note 11T series launch in China scheduled for May 24th, and the phones are not the only devices launching at the event. Xiaomi just confirmed its Mi Band 7 is also launching on the same date as the Redmi Note 11T series. I even get some details about the specs as well as some images of its design. Mi Band 7 will adopt the familiar pill-shaped design of its predecessors, but with a 162-inch AMOLED screen up from 156 inch size on the outgoing Mi Band 6. The larger panel will allow for more watch complications on the watch screen, which should be easier to read than on past models. And it will be interesting to see how the larger screen impacts the overall form factor of the band. The new teasers also detail the presence of NFC, which will most likely be market dependent yet again. Other features include heart rate, blood oxygen and exercise data measurements as well as the usual mix of built-in apps of weather, music controls and alarms. There seems to be a fair bit that has already surfaced about what we can expect to see from the Mi Band 7, and that indicates the name, some indication of the screen changes and a big new sports tracking feature. A lot of the juiciest stuff has come courtesy of the locker and from some insignificant digging around the Zep companion app, which is used to pair the Mi Band. Logger discovered the name Xiaomi Smart Band 7 along with the device model numbers M2129B1 and M2130B1. That code also uncovered appears to suggest a screen size and resolution change for the new Mi Band. The Mi Band 7 screen should feature a 192 to 490 pixel resolution screen, which would be an upgrade on 152 to 486 resolution one packed onto the Mi Band 6. That's likely to be an AMOLED type display, just like the one included on the 6 and it will offer an always on display mode. The same digging around in code also uncovered evidence of the type of animated and static watch faces we can expect alone with the black and white watch faces that will be offered when the screen is in that always-on mode. It's also dished out icons attached to the third-party apps when they land as notifications on the tracker. So the likes of Spotify, Strava, Netflix and Gmail are all accounted for. And now let's talk about GPS. This is where we might see some interesting changes. The Mi Band 6 offered a huge collection of sports and activity tracking profiles and it looks like the same will be the case on the Mi Band 7 based on the same discovered code. What's most interesting here is that the possible inclusion of the built-in GPS. Previous Mi Band has offered connected GPS support, though based on my personal experience it wasn't the best support. Mentions of built-in satellite navigation support suggest big changes are coming. It points to the Mi Band 7 offering support of GPS, Galileo, GLONASS and BDS satellite systems and being able to use a combination of satellite system to improve tracking accuracy. That would be a big feature for the Mi Band 7 as far as becoming a better tracker for monitoring outdoor exercise time. And it seems we can expect some improved smartwatch features here too, including the addition of a smart alarm and smart wake-up features, which isn't new to wearables in general, but does mean the 7 will pick the optimal time to wake you up in a more natural way from your light sleep. And it seems Xiaomi will also add a passcode feature to better protect your band from others getting in to use and view your stats and data. The Mi Band has always promised a real really strong battery life and it sounds like things are going to get even better too, if the rumored changes are to be believed. According to my smart price who spotted the Mi Band 7 has popped up on a Belgium's SGS CBSC website and the Indonesia Telecom website, the new band will be packing a 250mAh capacity battery. That's a significant jump up from the 125mAh once featured in the Mi Band 6, which promised up to 2 weeks of battery life. That could mean more battery life or it could would mean that Xiaomi has needed to increase the battery to cope with additional features it's going to include and may end up sticking around at that two-week battery number. Adding GPS would no doubt hamper the battery performance. Adding GPS would no doubt hamper the battery performance if used on a regular basis, as is the case on all GPS packing devices. But it does sound like it will include a series of battery modes to make sure you get the most time out of seven in between charges. There will apparently be a power 
power saving, ultra power saving and the battery saver mode. The latter it seems will only record sleep and steps counts when it's enabled. So we've dealt with what the rumor mill has to say. Now what do we actually want to see from Xiaomi's next generation Mi Band? Here's a few things that come to mind for me. First of all, the design. It's time Xiaomi. It feels like we've had the same look, band and screen to stare at for a few generations now. Yes, you can get it with a few different color straps and the screen is still nice and punchy, colorful and bright, but it feels like we are due something a little less ordinary to glance down and have picking out from a short sleeve. The Mi Band 6 was nearly enough identical to Mi Band 5 and if you picked it up with a black band, it's just felt a bit drab looking. It is possible to make a cheap fitness tracker look attractive. Take something like a Samsung Galaxy Fit 2, for example. The band and screen combination on the Samsung tracker works a lot nicer, particularly with the subtle elements like the way the screen meets the band. There is a certainly room for the Mi Band to be more of a looker. Whether that's a priority for Xiaomi on its chip tracker, it's not clear, but I hope it's firmly on the agenda for the Mi Band 7. The personal activity intelligence score you receive for spending time in elevated heart rate zones. In essence, it's great feature that moves people away from thinking about doing lots of steps to making sure you're getting your heart pumping on a regular basis. Except the feature feels very separated from everything else Xiaomi Mi Band does as a fitness tracker. What I'd like to see is Pi being brought more into the picture and integrated into Xiaomi's overall goal to get you moving more and staying active. Whether that's through prompts explaining when you're close to your Pi goals or how you can reach a Pi goal, those would be some small steps to make potentially really useful existing feature a more worthy one to have at your disposal. There are fitness trackers that sit and around the price of Xiaomi Mi Band that are capable of tracking outdoor activities without having to piggyback off your phone's GPS to see your routes in a companion app post run or ride. I feel like it's time that Xiaomi managed to get on board GPS onto the tracker to make it less reliant on having to boot up the companion phone app, which often been a problematic experience for me on the few iteration of the Mi Band from both connecting and accuracy point of view. I obviously wouldn't want to impact on the size of the hardware, so if it's introduced in a way that still keeps things relatively light and comfortable, that would be ideal. I think it's fair to assume that given the price the new Mi Band will likely come in, sorts of it packing an ACG sensor like an Apple Watch Series 7 or a Fitbit Charge 5 seems unlikely. That doesn't mean I wouldn't like to see new sensors added and I know that a body temperature sensor was rumored to land on the previous iteration of the band which would be a useful one to add. Fitbit, Aura, Whoop, Huawei and the Mobavi Stickwatch have added temperature sensors, all with a very mixed result, I should say. They are also not regarded as a medical feature on those rival devices, but when they do work, they can offer a useful piece of information and insight into your general wellness and could indicate that something might not be quite right. I haven't seen a Xiaomi wearable spec any sorts of temperature sensors yet, so maybe the Mi Band 7 could be the first device to make it reality. The Mi Band does of course already track sleep and initial tracking issues, besides it does a pretty good job of it as well. That's not only tracking that sleep time, but also offering some useful sleep quality analysis and flagging when you've gone to bed too late or you're not getting enough sleep. As far as matching what the likes of Fitbit and wearables like Aura Ring can deliver on the sleep tracking front, I definitely say there is a scope for a Mi Band to get better in terms of what it can offer when you're taking it to bed with you. I'd like to see more in terms of drowning in relation to recovery and readiness with a sleep like we've seen on Xiaomi Mi Watch, with a Fitbit's daily readiness score, Garmin's body battery energy monitor and Aura overall sleep tracking. It will likely need to harness heart rate variability measurements to generate those energy level readings, which this tracker is already capable of doing when it tracks stress. So hopefully this is relatively straightforward feature that could be introduced on Mi Band 7. And about the price, I think if Xiaomi adds a GPS, then you should count on price tag in the region of 100 bucks. If not, then I don't think that something will change significantly compared to the previous generation. The announcement of the device is expected in the few months. So my today's question is, in your opinion, which brand of Android phone is the best? Your answers, as always, you can leave in the comment section below. I will definitely read everything and I will answer the most interesting comments and give hearts from the channel. If this video seems interesting to you, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. You were watching OZN and I'll see you guys in the next one.